Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about cavity resonators. So, cavity resonator is nothing but it's a metallic enclosure that confines the electromagnetic energy. Nothing but we are taking a waveguide and that is closed on either ends. That is closed on either ends. When a signal is being entered into that, that signal will be having lot of fluctuation. That means a lot of uh, uh, resonating modes. Suppose I am taking a waveguide. See, cavity resonators will be existed in the rectangular waveguide and as well as a circular waveguide. So, when this waveguide is closed on either ends and a small hole is incorporated here to enter the signal, that signal will be going in the forward direction and touches this interface and again reflected back and touches this and again reflected back so that this wave will be experiencing lot of resonating frequencies okay so by doing this what happens is it gives the quality of the signal that means the resonating frequency it oscillates at one particular frequency like a resonating frequency the signal will be oscillating at one particular frequency okay and as well as it is used to increase the uh, or maintain a constant impedance like inductance and as well as conductance okay uh, some theory is there related to this uh, cavity resonator i will explain point by point a cavity resonator a cavity resonator see why it is resonator why it is cavity it's a closed one a waveguide we are taking that is closed on either end sir and resonator is nothing but that signal will be having a maximum amplitude at one particular frequency a cavity resonator is a metallic enclosure metallic enclosure that confines the electromagnetic energy that confines the electromagnetic energy the stored energy the stored energy that may be in the form of electric or magnetic electric energy or magnetic energy <clears throat> inside the cavity inside the cavity determine its equivalent inductance and capacitance inductance and capacitance okay so when a signal is entered and as it is experiencing the resonating frequency that energy that means the energy we are storing inside the cavity that energy decides the impedance nothing but inductance and as well as conductance of that cavity resonator so the energy dissipated by the finite conductivity of the cavity walls the energy dissipated by the finite conductivity of the cavity walls determines its resistance. Hope you understand what is the meaning of second point and third point. Second point says about the energy which is stored inside the cavity and third point says about the energy which is dissipated or wasted at the walls of cavity. 
okay the energy which is stored inside the cavity that determines the capacitance and inductance and the energy which is wasted around the walls of the cavities that determines the resistance okay nothing but it's a loss a resistive component is determining here is a loss and capacitive inductive components determines here the stored energy okay so the, generally there are there are three different types of cavity resonators are there cavity resonators are available they are first one is rectangular cavity resonator rectangular cavity resonator second one circular cavity resonator circular cavity resonator and third one is reentrant cavity resonators reentrant cavity resonator so look at the names rectangular cavity resonator circular cavity resonator and reentrant cavity resonator as we have discussed two types of waveguides rectangular rectangular uh, waveguides and <coughs> circular waveguides for these two two different types of cavity resonators are there suppose if you have taken a rectangular waveguide and closed on either sides then that forms a rectangular cavity resonator and if you have taken a circular waveguide and closed on either end so that forms a circular waveguide then reentrant cavity resonator is something different com when compared to rectangular and circular waveguide it is having a different shapes okay irregular shapes of rectangular waveguide or a circular waveguide he is known as reentrant cavity resonator okay it doesn't have any uniform structure it is having different uh, cross sectional area compared to the rectangular and circular waveguides so such type of irregular shapes waveguides are known as reentrant cavity resonators okay so theoretically theoretically a given resonator has an infinite number of resonating modes and each mode corresponds to a definite a definite resonant frequency okay consider general case when a wave is being traveled in a rectangular or a circular wave guide it is having number of modes okay ta mode tm mode ta i mean like 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 like that we have explained there infinite number of modes are there here also when a wave is traveling inside the cavity resonator it will be having infinite number of modes but here each and every mode will be having definitely a frequency that frequency is known as resonant frequency because the signal is being oscillated in the to and fro direction that means in the forward and backward direction that signal will be oscillated with a particular frequency that is known as resonant frequency for n number of modes n number of different frequencies are there so like that for infinite number of modes infinite number of different resonant frequencies will be existed okay so when 
the frequency of an impressed signal okay that means the signal which is being entered inside the cavity that signals the frequency impressed signal means with the signal which is going inside okay the frequency of this signal is equal to is equal to the resonant frequency hmm. what happens when this situation occurs whatever the signal we are being impressed inside the cavity resonator suppose if it is equal to that resonant frequency then a maximum amplitude of standing wave occurs a maximum amplitude of the standing wave occurs and the peak energies stored in the electric and magnetic fields are equal the peak energies and the peak energy stored in electric and magnetic fields are equal electric and magnetic fields are equal so resonators are having a lot of applications uh, like in microwave fields especially uh, resonators are active components resonators are nothing but active components with a wide variety of applications with wide variety of applications okay so like this uh, cavity resonators are used as a tuned circuits at microwave frequencies cavity resonators are used as tuned circuits because it generates oscillations at particular frequency tuned circuits yet microwave sorry frequencies microwave frequencies okay so let us recall what do you mean by re-entering cavities and what are the different shapes of the re-entering cavities occurs so irregular shape resonators are known as re-entrant cavities re-entrant cavities so they are useful in tuned circuits and in addition they have the advantage of being easily integrated into the structure of any microwave device that is the main advantage why are you using a rectangular uh, resonant uh, sorry what is that uh, re-entrant cavities re-entrant cavities are also having the application like uh, generation of resonating frequency but uh, they are having the feasibility to incorporate in any microwave device okay uh, what are the different uh, shapes of these uh, re-entrant cavity resonators let us just uh, draw a few of the structures here a coaxial cavity first one is coaxial cavity so what is the structure of coaxial cavity it is having a different shape see rectangular uh, re-entrant cavities are with different shapes okay not with conventional shapes it is having different shape 
so this is coaxial cavity second one a radial cavity a radial cavity this is the radial cavity third one chionable cavity chionable cavity and the fourth one is toroidal cavity it's like your dumbbell shape uh, this toroidal cavity resonators are used inside uh, will be having an application in the reflux klystron operations okay i will explain there when we go into that uh, reflux klystron and the last one is butterfly cavity butterfly cavity so in the butterfly cavity it is having a circular shape with a different shape inside like this okay which is a closed part so it appears to be like a butterfly that's why it is butterfly cavity okay so these are the different uh, shapes of this reentrant cavities okay this is what the concept of cavity resonators in the waveguides thank you